This video explains how to apply the match function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So if we want to apply the match function, we first need to specify a vector object that contains values to which we can match a different value. And we can create such a vector object as you can see in line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called tab. And this tab object contains five different values. So the values two, five, seven, five, and one. Now let's assume that we want to match the value five to this vector object. Then we can apply the match function as you can see in line four of the code. And within the match function, we need to specify the value that we want to match and the data object to which we want to match this value. So if you run line four of the code, you can see that the value two is returned because the value five occurs at the second position of our vector object the first time. So similar to that, we can also match a vector of values to another vector. And for that, we need to create another data object as you can see in line six of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called vec. And this vector object contains five different numeric values. So in this example, we are using the values four, five, one, three, and seven. Now we can match the values of our vector object vec to our vector object tab, as you can see in line eight of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that another vector object with a length of five is returned. And the first element in this vector is the value NA. So NA stands for not available. And this is because the value four in our input vector is not occurring in our vector tab. The value five, so the second element of our input vector is occurring at the second position. For that reason, the match function has returned the value two. The value one is occurring at the fifth position. So for that reason, the match function has returned the value five. The value three is not occurring at all and the value seven is occurring at the third position. So in the first examples, I have shown how to apply the match function to numeric vectors. However, it's also possible to apply the match function to characters. And this is what I want to show you in the next example. So in line 10 of the code, I'm first creating another data object called tab two. And this data object contains the character strings a, b, a, 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 and c. Now let's assume that we want to match the character A to this vector object tab two, then we can apply the code that you can see in line 12. So if you run this line of code, you can see that the value two is returned because the character A is matching with the second position of the vector object tab two. Please note that the match function searches for exact matches. And for that reason, the character string AB is not a match with the character A. So similar to the match function, there are also different matching functions available. And in the last examples of this tutorial, I want to show you two of these related functions. So in line 14 of the code, I want to show you the pmatch function. And the pmatch function can be applied to a vector of values. And these values are matched to another data object. So in this case, we are once again using the tab vector that we have created in the beginning of the tutorial. And to this, we are matching the value five three times. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see at the bottom that the values two, four, and an A are returned. And the reason for that is that the first value is matched to the second position. And then the second five is not matched again to this second position, but it is matched to the next five in our tab vector. So in this case, at the fourth position. And then the third five of this input is not existing in this vector anymore because the second and the fourth five have already been matched to the previous values. And for that reason, the value NA is returned. Another function that I want to show you is the char match 
function, as you can see in line 16 of the code. So if you apply this code, you can see that the values 3 and 0 are returned. The value 3 is returned because at the third position of our vector object tab, we also have the value 7. So this is a match at the third position. And then for the value 5, the value 0 is returned because the char match function always returns 0 in case multiple matches are found for a value. So in this case, the value 5 is appearing twice. And for that reason, the char match function returns the value 0. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.